Then somebody said to me at lunchtime, it's more political this year, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> Do you have any questions for our final session speakers? More an observation we made um, when we were discussing lying in our pairs um, might re relate to the uh, gender discussions is that the men get away with lying and don't seem to feel any remorse for it, Brian. Um, you know, at all levels of men, Matt, you know, the Grundies. The women tend to confess, uh, and if they don't confess, are very conflicted and wrapped with guilt, you know. And, um, and there's consequence. So I think there's a really interesting gender split with the lying. I mean, there's gender running through. Yeah, it's running through. And politics. Um, great. Hi. Um, one of the speakers said that average crime statistics reflect much more um, the fear of crime in other rural oh. counties than the actual statistics there. Um, is this a case of? Um, the real world imitating the archers, um, <laughs> people being afraid of what they hear happening in rural areas because the archers is the only place they hear it. Um, the, I don't know about that. It, what, what we see is that uh, fear of crime is much lower in rural communities than in urban, urban communities. Um, and you know, the, the crime rates, depending on what you're looking at, what types of crime you're looking at, they're between sort of half and two thirds than, than they are in, in rural communities. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is to that. Um, More research is needed. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, on the topical insights around Brexit, was I having a funny day or? Was the whole jewellery scene supposed to be a big Brexit allegory? <coughs> Was that no? <laughs> Which scene? Yeah. For, the, for Helen's um, when they had the special. Oh, the jewellery, yes. right? When the, and the jewellery was split. Do you remember it? And then I think. No, uh, so it could not leave and remain. Uh huh. Yeah, I think so. Did I make that up? No, no, it happened. That, yeah, so, so I guess maybe some of the messages are rather more oblique. Than well, there were the debates about the difference in the jury deliberations mm. and that would feed into Brexit. Because they had this special, didn't they, when it was an hour yeah. of yeah. Yeah. with yeah. Nigel Cavers. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I thought it was an allegory for Brexit. And I did the United Kingdom, but maybe I don't know. Right, I'm sensing we're flagging, I certainly am. There's one more question. So, Abby. Go on. I was just wondering, it's quite interesting, I think a lot of people, um, a lot of the characters seem to be quite politically grey. You could, you know, you could yeah. say that Emma and Ed, on the one hand, aspirational working class, probably quite likely to vote Tory. On the other <laughs> hand, Emma seems to be quite sort of lefty with some of her social housing type things. Then, you know, Linda, who you might think, you know, middle class and, and affluent, quite likely to vote Tory, but then is really quite lefty in a lot of things. And it's interesting that I wonder if that's a deliberate attempt to try and stay apolitical, that it's hard to identify quite a lot of people with one particular side or the other. Yeah, I think that's really intriguing, and that's about the... It's come out a few times today, is that your definition of politics, whether it's issues, identity, or, or, or formal participation, which is what, what Tim's talking about, we, we know the party affiliation of only one resident, the actor Patricia Green, who seems to know Jill Archer really well, <laughs> um, told Woman's Hour this summer that Jill Archer votes Lib Dem. <laughs> I'm going to say, I think, from my experience of growing up in country life, you, you're kind of entrenched, so your behaviour or your views day to day might actually be quite left-wing, but there's just a tradition of conservative or live, you know, Lib Dem voting. You just don't actually really question it or put the two things together and they might be conflicted. And another conference on rural politics <laughs> in the arches. <laughs> Sorry, not too many questions for you now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.